Thank you, Mr. Chair. This bill is very frightening. It is extremely frightening because we all know that this bill is political retribution. It is punishment for business entities who spoke out against the governor's agenda. We were warned. We've, I mean, we've just been told, oh no, this is, this is not about singling out any business. No, no, we would never do such a thing. That's a joke. We're not stupid. We have been told by the governor and by Republican lawmakers in plain language, in public and on the record, that if Disney or any other business or individual speaks out against this administration or they engage in this so-called woke ideology, they will pay. <laughs> and now everyone else has been put on notice with this bill. If you speak out, if you have an opinion about what's happening here in the Florida legislature, you will be punished. That is how this administration is deciding that they want to govern. And the legislature, this committee, and every member who votes for this bill is capitulating to that and is now complicit in what's happening. And I can't overstate the dramatic impact of what this bill will do, abolishing the Reedy Creek District, which covers two counties. It covers four Florida theme parks, two water parks, one sports complex, 175 lane miles of roadway, 67 Ranking miles Smith. of waterway. Rank I'm sorry, but this there's a lot that's impacted. Rank I know that we Member only Smith. have an hour and a half. Ranking Member Smith, we I know we only have an hour and a half. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to start limiting debate because a lot of other people want to debate. I will land the plane. Thank you. Hopefully you're on final. Well, let's get to the 356 government employees of Reedy Creek who will lose their jobs when the district is abolished, 200 of them being first responders. We've pulled out the rug from underneath all of these workers and businesses and really pulling the rug out from underneath Central Florida's economy, all because one business had the gall to stand up for the LGBTQ community. That's what this is about. We're rushing this bill through. I don't even know if I'm going to have the opportunity to finish my debate because we're in a hurry to adjourn the meeting and do what? We had one individual submit public comment. Why? Because we didn't notify the public that this was happening. Members, I'm disgusted by this proposal. And when I look around and I see other members of the committee who have no questions and likely will not debate and will just hit the button and do as they're told, I know that many of you are disgusted too. And you can't believe Ranking Member Smith. that this is what has happened in this legislature. Please vote against this bill. And if you really want corporate accountability, I suggest demanding that these corporations pay what they owe. Members, we're going to go to a minute and a half for debate.